Harry, you've had a couple of games in the nets recently. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm, I'm, fe I'm feeling really good. It's, it's obviously nice to get an opportunity to, to play in the team and, and help the lads out. Um, obviously, I mean, the boys have been doing really well of late, so it's important to come in and, and do your best and, and make sure you keep keep on keep keeping up the good performances and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it tomorrow. Um, it's going to be a good test and uh, one that we'll thrive off. Yeah, you're coming into a team that are doing well. That must be easier, in a way, rather than coming into a team that are struggling. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, it's nice to have sort of a... A well-organised team, you know, you know, everyone knows what their job is, so um, that makes it a lot easier going out there on a Saturday or a Tuesday. We don't speak to the keepers too often, so what is it like working with Brian Jensen? He's a he's a top-class coach, isn't he? Yeah, it's it's top draw. I mean, every every day we get our work done. Um, sort of, we can have a laugh when it's time to have a laugh, but then when it's serious and it's work time, we get our work done. And uh, I think Brian's really good at making sure that. Maybe if Matt is playing every week, then I'm still getting the work that I need to sort of be ready if called upon. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's top work and obviously his experience, played hundreds and hundreds of league games. So, um, yeah, having his experience as well as playing under the manager as well, so he can help us in terms of what the manager wants and what he likes from his goalkeepers as well. So, yeah. Not too much preparation time for this one, but what do you know about Burton and their threats? We know we know Burton are, obviously they they've been on a good run of late. Um, they they go quite direct, so um, we need to be aware of that. But uh, it's all worried about what we what we're doing, and uh, we've planned everything that we need to do, and we've got the game plan, and we're we're ready to go and execute it tomorrow. I just want to get an insight into penalties. How do you remember kind of which player goes where, and, and what the likelihood of where they're going to put their penalty if they are given one by the ref? Um, I'm not after. It's a good question, but I don't want to give too much away in, in terms of my philosophy of what I think. I've got I've got my own philosophy of what I think from when I was a kid that I got taught, um, and I, I've always stuck with that and been quite successful with it. Um, and obviously, you do your homework on on what the what people do as well. So those two things added together give yourself the best chance of uh, of saving it or putting him off or just doing something. Matty has gone away with Montenegro. How pleased are you for him? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's great. He's uh, he's come in and done great this season. He, he's been really good, so he deserves that more than anyone because because the work he puts in off the pitch that people don't see. Um, yeah, he deserves that more than anything because as well with the injury, it might have been quite easy to sort of have a sulk up and not work hard in the gym to get yourself back fit, but. He was working hard every day to get himself back fit on the pitch, and uh, yeah, he, he well deserves going out there with the with his country. I know that no stone is left unturned in training. So, how are you feeling physically and mentally going into this one? Yeah, feeling really good. Um, do a good job of like making sure we tick all the boxes in terms of preparing for tomorrow, um, and we concentrate on us. Look, we're on a good run, and uh, we want to continue that going. So, uh, yeah, really looking forward to tomorrow.